Thank you so much. Don't they look fantastic? I told you the globes are amazing. And something I want to point out too is that all of these are rescue animals. These are all rescue dogs. It's been a long time, if ever, if the entire court has been made up of all rescue dogs. And you're going to hear some really amazing stories and really get connected to this court. But aren't they beautiful? Let's put our hands together one more time. And thank you to all the owners who, you know, raised so much funding for the Humane Society of San Antonio. Job well done. That's amazing. And without further ado, let's go ahead and, and get our first one up. Knight of the Royal Court. Rescued from a feed store cage in April of 99. And not only was he the runt of the litter, he was very ill. He was not able to nurse. And Oz is well known for his style, and as you can see, his fashion sense. Hello. He even donned a, a, a tuxedo and pet him, which we all know are great qualities in a pet. <laughs> Currently, he does go to work every day to make his bed-bound patients happy because Oz is a therapy dog. Thank you so much, Oz. Good job. I don't know if I should say sit, stay. <laughs> we'll see what they do. Or just take a seat. They are part of the court, you know. All right, next up, it's our Knight of the Royal Court. Noodle, please come up. Put your ass together for Noodle. Noodle and his owner, I want to tell you a little background because this is a, a phenomenal story. Noodle and his owner came to the shelter for a taping of the San Antonio Living Show. Now, they met many of the El Rey Fido contestants but Noodle really fell in love with a beautiful dachshund named Oscar, who looked precious in his green bow tie. His parents, the Youngs, they beamed with pride when they spoke of him. When Noodle and his owner got the call that he had won a spot on the El Rey Fido Court, they were also informed that tragically, Oscar had passed away a week earlier when he was hit by a car, and that Oscar's family had decided to give all the funds they had raised for Oscar to his friend Noodle. And the owner decided that because of this generosity by the Youngs, Noodle would carry Oscar's memory with him throughout the year. And you're gonna notice right now uh, the embroidered uh, things on Noodle's royal robe. It says, in memory of Oscar. And the robe is green to honor Oscar's favorite bow tie color that he wore on the San Antonio Living Show. So Noodle will carry out his duties this year on the El Rey Fido Court, paying tribute to the Young family and their wonderful dog, Oscar. I also know the Young family is here, and if they could stand up, they're right there. Thank you so much. Come on up. We'd like you to say something, too, as well. What you've done is absolutely amazing. We want to recognize you. And do you want to say, I would like you to say a couple of words about Oscar, if you could. Oscar left a big uh, void in our lives. But because of the support of the Humane Society and the wonderful, wonderful people and dogs that we met, that void's getting filled a little bit day after day, you know, a little bit at a time. It'll take time, but one day we will be at the Humane Society again, and we will find somebody else to fill that void. For now, we're just going to have to wait day at a time. Thank you very much. She has something for Noodle. Got some pride. Oh, that's so sweet. A little tag you'll be able to wear. Thank you guys so much for your support and the generosity. We appreciate the young family. And thank you, Noodle. Sit. <laughs> All right. Next up is, uh, I love this one, the Duchess of the Ever-Present Fire Hydrant. Yaki, come this way, Yaki. It's your turn. Yaki is an 18-month-old English pointer and was adopted from the Humane Society of San Antonio in October of 08 after her owner, who was serving in the Air Force, returned from overseas duty in Kosovo and Eastern Europe. Yaki's a very sweet dog, has the biggest heart, loves playing chase with her sister Tinkerbell. How sweet is that? And uh, this contest has really meant a lot for Yaki because for 24 hours of her young little life, she was actually a shelter dog. She enjoys raising money for the place that brought her into her loving uh, home. Yaki is her dad's shadow at the house and loves going places, I can tell. She totally is 
loving you, and as an alumna of the San Antonio Humane Society, uh, I can't think of a better dog uh, who represents the Humane Society of San Antonio than Yaki. Thank you so much. Aren't their groves fabulous? They're just fantastic. So much attention to detail. I love the fire hydrants on that one. Next up, Duke of the Indestructible Chew Toy, Trixie. Show yourself, girl. Nice touch. Now that's Fiesta. <laughs> All right, Trixie, or Trixie, as you can tell, is a small chihuahua mixed breed dog with a fox face and a German Shepherd marking. She was rescued by her family in 2005 in Austin, and it was love at first sight after her owners had treated her for heartworms by their vet. They found Trixie loves to walk, play, and sleep with them, but mostly she just likes hanging out with her owners on the screen porch. Who doesn't, right? That's a good place to be. For several years, uh, she actually would sit at her owner's feet, both of whom are authors, and she would watch them write on their computers. Last year, Trixie took to writing herself. She's got her own blog, if you will. How about this? Trixie and the Wednesday Walkie Talkies .com. That's where you can go and find updates and uh, you know readings on her doings. You can check it out for yourself. And I'm sure she's going to be writing uh, today about the coronation and, of course, about how fabulous all of us are. Who knows? She might even take a picture. I'm excited. Show your best spot. As for tricks, friends think that she may have uh, been a circus animal at some point because she balances on her two front legs when she leaves her scent on trees and fire hydrants. But her best trick has been convincing her owners that dogs rule. Thank you so much, Trixie. Yeah. Nice job. All right, now we have our Prince of the Perpetual Food Bowl, Binky. Yeah. Oh, love the Grove. Now, Binky, Prince of the Perpetual Food Bowl, raised over 7000 Dollars in a five-year-old smart shih tzu. Now he can wave, shut doors, play dead. I was asking if he could clean house because I'm going to hire him here very soon. But as a five, six-week-old puppy, he was actually thrown out of a moving truck along with his three brothers and sisters. And a lady actually, this is a story that's unbelievable, took down a license plate, called the police, and went to rescue the box of puppies. Now, it appeared she found them too late, unfortunately. She was told to take them all to the vet to get death certificates to help prosecute the abuser, which uh, actually ended up being a puppy mill. So uh, it was a miracle, but one of the puppies was still alive. That, of course, puppy is Binky. And after weeks of medical care, he found his way to his loving home, and he is definitely the prince of the household. Thank you, Binky, and thank you for sharing your story. Sit. All right, now. Here it is, the grand daggy, daddy I should say, the dick dog daddy. <laughs> it's the moment we've been waiting for as we introduce you to your 2010 L. Ray Fido the Eighth Dingo! Come on up in all your glory. Yeah, you know, she wanted to shake herself, who doesn't? That always feels good. Now, Dingo was adopted from the Galveston Island Humane Society back in 2003.